I'm trying to figure out what you're waiting on. First, I thought you were scared, but now I don't really think that you're scared. So if you're not scared, what is it? Because something is holding you back. Maybe you don't know how to go about it. You want to be successful. You want to make money online. You want to start a YouTube channel, but you don't know how. Well, today I'm going to tell you how in just a few simple words, I promise. But first, hit the like button, hit the bell for subscriptions. If you had any fucking heart at all, you'd be out fucking stealing for a living. I know I said I was going to tell you in a few simple words, but I'm just going to use one word. Copycat. Just one word. Or two, if you hyphenate it and put them together. Copycat. You need to learn how to copycat people around you. But it got to be, it must be, the people who are already doing or who have done what it is that you are on an endeavor to do. You have to copycat those people. And if you don't understand what that is, I'll put it in even simpler terms, layman terms. You have to learn to steal from other people. That's right. Learn to steal from other people. I steal from people. I steal every day from other people. I steal every day. And I'm encouraging you to be a thief as well. Okay? You need to go as far as you can with stealing from other people. You need to go as far as you can. Stop just shy of copyright infringement. That's how much of a copycat you need to be to copycat your way to success. If I was trying to be a basketball player and I decided to copy King James, would that be such a bad idea? Because I'm pretty sure if I copycat after King James and do every single thing that I know that he's done the way he did it, I got pretty good chances of becoming a success. Pretty good chances. If I want to play football, maybe I want to be a quarterback. Guess what? If I study the top quarterbacks like Tom Brady, Drew Brees, Aaron Rodgers, and then I go out and I literally become a carbon copy of those guys. Copycat those guys to the best that my ability will allow me to in every way. I'm sure that I will reach success. See, we haven't understood. Because we're always looking for the new best thing, trying to create something new where you don't have to create at all, okay? Do what's, do something that we all know very well, and that's copycatting because we only been doing it since we came out of our mother's womb, okay? Since we were knee-high to a duck, we've been copycatting, okay? That's how we learn how to speak the language that we speak, whether that's English, Spanish, French, German, what have you. Everybody on this earth learn their language by being a copycat, okay? Any kind of job that you know how to do, wherever you work at in this world, whatever your occupation is for income, you learned how to do that by copycatting somebody else, okay? Whether it was your manager who said, hey, watch this. And showed you how to do something and you did it. Whether it was another co-worker. A lot of the times your manager will assign your co-worker to teach a new co-worker. And then you are to copycat that co-worker. Because he knows the job and you don't. So that's why you copycat him to become a literal carbon copy of that guy. The only thing is when we copycat people, we got to learn that we are, we got to make sure that we are copycatting the right people. You don't want to copycat the 95 percenters. The 95 percenters are all about working a job, trading time for money. We want to say no to that. If we are doing that, we want to get away from doing that. We want to study the five percenters and learn to copycat the five percenters. The people who say no to a job, the people who say yes to starting their own business, starting an online business, starting a YouTube channel, starting an affiliate marketing business. Whatever you're trying to do, you need to study the people who've already done it to a successful level and then try your best to become a carbon copy of that person. Like I said, you want to go all the way. You want to copy this person as much as you can. Stop just shy of copyright infringement. 
Meaning, don't steal somebody's literal name, a.k.a. Rick Ross. Does that ring a bell? Some of y'all might know what I'm talking about. The rapper Rick Ross stole the real drug dealer's real Rick Ross. He stole his government name. Okay, now that's going too far. That's what I mean. You got to stop just shy. Do like that. Just shy of copyright infringement. That's how much you got to copycat the people who are doing what you want to do. And you want to copy the five percenters, not the 95 percenters, not the ham and eggers, the knuckle draggers and so forth. You want to copy the five percenters. That way you can write your own check. Okay. Right here on this channel, I got a video where I read from the book, Copycat Marketing 101. Go watch that video, okay? Also, down below in this description, I'm going to have a link to a book called, guess what? Copycat Marketing 101. I'll leave a link down below to the book in case you want to uh, purchase that book. Great book, beautiful book, or maybe you just want to watch me read it to you. Go on over, start watching that playlist, Copycat Marketing 101, that can be found on this channel. Any links that you need, write down below in the description, okay? But it's all about copycatting. You don't have to be a creator. Just take what's ever there. Stop just shy of copyright infringement. I'm serious, you guys. Have, you have to learn how to be a thief. You have to be willing and able to steal from other people. I steal from other people every single day. And I encourage you to do it too. You know what I mean. I'm not talking about breaking no laws. You know what I mean. If this video has been any. If this video has brought any enlightenment to you. If I've given you any kind of information, motivation. Or any kind of Asian at all. Hit the like button. Hit the bell for subscriptions. Go down below in the comment section and let me know what you feel about this video topic. I'm out.